happy Thursday. It's me, Jessica, your health fitness program manager from McLean, and I'm looking forward to leading you through today's hit circuit. We're splitting up today's circuit into two sections. We got a mostly lower body and core focus section and a mostly upper body and core focus section. And I encourage you to bring some weights. We're going to decrease the work time for three rounds of each section. You can read about it in the comments. Definitely make sure that you have some water. I'm gonna grab my giant glass of water. We got two minutes till we get started. One more minute till we begin our warm up. If you're here with me early, I encourage you to get up, turn music on, turn music on. Put on your favorite music so you stay motivated through the whole workout. Fred, would you like some peanuts? Is that what you're saying? That you would like some peanuts? I will give you some peanuts. All right, if you have some weights that you can bring to today's workout, I'd recommend bringing uh, a variety of weights. You actually might find that because we're doing some balance related moves while using those weights that you prefer to use something a little bit lighter than usual. Uh, I have not, I've not been doing a lot of weighted workouts on my own. So I definitely noticed my strength has gone down and I'm going to be using some eight pounders today, but we're starting to build that strength back up. We're going to use some weights today. As always, I'm going to change up the moves as we move through our circuits, uh, starting off with a little bit more of a basic move for almost every exercise, and then options for ways that you can increase the challenge. If that challenge increase is not smart or not right for your body today, you can stick with whatever we started with. If you need an additional modification, just say so in the comments, uh, and we will let you know what you can do. I think it's that time, so let's go ahead and get started. As usual, we're just gonna start with some lateral side to side step taps and some shoulder rolls, maybe even some individual shoulder rolls. Start to draw that lower belly in. Make sure you're taking some big full breaths and go ahead, change direction of those shoulder rolls. Awesome, can you start to just pull those arms behind you? We're gonna switch into a hamstring curl. So point that knee down towards the floor, take that little squeeze of the glute. You might even think not just of doing a hamstring curl, so instead of just trying to bring your heel towards your glute, even taking a little bit of a kick back behind you, starting to feel those quads stretching, a little opening of those hips for four, three, Two, turning it into a cross body crunch. So elbow coming towards that knee. I want you to focus on rotating from the core. So not just twisting those shoulders. Five more on each side. Four, three, two, keep that chest lifted 
one. Awesome. Plant those feet down. We're going to be real cool and just give ourselves some big hip circles. And let's change directions. I know it seems like such a silly move, but it really is a nice warm up to open those hips. Next up, we're going to go for some a little bit more of an arm warm up. So feet about hips width distance apart, starting with your arms down, inhale those arms up overhead, cactus those arms, and I want you to pull those shoulders down. Keep your belly in, make a clamshell to the front, open up, stretch up, and still keeping shoulders down and your back engaged, reaching down. So your arms aren't just flailing up and down, you're really engaging that upper body. So inhale up, exhale cactus, Inhale together, cactus, up, down, up, cactus, squeeze, open, up, down, two more, up, cactus, squeeze, open, up, last one, up, cactus, squeeze, open, up, down, inhale those arms up to the side, heel toe those feet out a little bit wider, one more ab move in our warm up. We're gonna reach towards our opposite toe. This is a great warm up move for how we're gonna finish up the challenge of our alternating side lunges today, using a weight to get a little bit of windmill action. Keep this up for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Roll yourself up, shake it out. Keep a little bit of movement going. I'm going to tell you about how we're going to set up our workout today. We got three rounds of each of the moves. First round, we're going to do the moves for a minute. Then we're going to do the moves for 45 seconds. Then we're going to do the moves for 30 seconds. So round one gives you an opportunity to figure out what the moves are. And in rounds two and three, I want you to challenge yourself to get in as many reps as possible. Why can you still even use good form and get in as many reps as you did on round one? You might not be able to if you're working with me to change up with the moves are changing up your balance or maybe adding some weights all right so move number one the very first move that we're going to start with I definitely need this in front of me today is we're going to go for some uh, lateral side to side just bends to start to warm up those abs let me grab my one minute timer to start that's our first move, one full minute. You can take a slight bend of those knees. I'd rather you take a slight bend of those knees than lock those knees out, but I want you to keep lifting up through the center and do your best not to hinge forward or reach too much to the back, no arching of the back as we go for these side bends. And if you'd like to, you're welcome to hold some weights in your hands, especially this first round where the move's gonna be a little bit easier, okay? We start in three two one begin so just crunching to the side and then lifting yourself back up reaching down as low as you can without like finding that rounding in that upper body so your chest is still open your abs are pulled in that lower belly is pulled in nice and tight Remember, you can stick with this move all three rounds because I'm really going to increase the challenge as we move into round two for this one, where we're going to do it from a goddess squat. And maybe not use weights, or maybe you need to use lighter weights when we move into that goddess squat. We got 10 seconds left, so I'm going to show you what it looks like for our next time through. If you want, you can even have your hands behind your head. That'd be doing that crunch side to side. All right, take your break. You got 20 minutes to just, 20 minutes. Yep, 20 minutes till the next move. Just shake it out a little bit. Next up, we're gonna go for some alternating side lunges. So starting off in round one with our feet separated. You don't have to challenge your balance too much. We're just gonna reach down for that side lunge and then come on up to a front raise. Begin, so side lunge front raise. As you come into the side lunge, whatever direction your toes are pointing, your knees are following in that same direction. If you need to go a little bit more gentle, if you can't reach all the way down towards the floor, that's okay. And you can do this completely 
unweighted as well. Just finding that engagement, pressing through the outer edges of your feet. So you can see that as I come into the side lunge, I don't allow myself to roll towards the inside of my straight leg foot. I'm really working to plant the outer edge of the foot on the floor, keeping that nice flat back. So no rounding on the way down, still pulling through the, with the chest and shoulders. 10 seconds left. We're gonna change this one up next time by simply stepping into our lunge and stepping our feet together for round two. Take your break. All right, next up we've got an overhead press into a knee drive. <coughs> oh my gosh, I forgot, this is a six. You know what, I'll add in separate rounds on this other side. We're just gonna crunch and reach. We'll do 30 seconds one side and then 30 seconds on the other. Which means that for round two, we're gonna end up doing longer time for this move because I forgot to set the timer to reflect six rounds. I want you to keep as much length through the crown of your head as you can here. So as you come into this crunch, you're not reaching all the way over. You're just working to decrease this space here by lifting that leg up, switch sides. So reach up. I'm working to bring that elbow towards the outside of my knee, but keeping that knee pointing as much towards the side wall as possible for a little side view. So similar to that position that we're gonna be in for the goddess squat while we're finding those side reaches. Wait a minute, were we supposed to? Yeah, okay, great. Next up is our squat and a single leg toe touch is coming up, but we're just gonna squat and step back or step into a lunge for round one. Ready? Begin. So nice and narrow, you're gonna squat down and then step it back. Can you bring that back knee down towards the floor in your lunge, but then press up through your front heel. So squat down, either just step back and then squat down again, or squat, lunge, back knee comes down, working to keep your shoulders as much on top of your hips as possible. Making sure that front knee is not going past your toe. Oh, I forgot, I forgot to add in the squat. So in our next round of this, we're gonna work towards doing a squat and then that single leg squat or a single leg toe touch might be an easier way to think about it. Just make sure right now in round one, you're practicing pressing through your heels to lift up on both portions. Yay, all right, and next up, we just got a twist. So we're just gonna twist it out. You can keep the intensity low by keeping a foot on the floor, or you can twist it out, get a little bit of that heart rate pumping, and then we got a break after this. Not a long break though. Let's keep it to just a 20 second break. We'll come right into round two. So I'm gonna add Another minute of work, well, an extra 30 seconds of work, 45, I lied, because we're gonna separate the sides each instead of splitting it up for that overhead press and drive. Get those arms going right here too to really get as much of an energy burn as possible. And remember, if you need to keep your feet on the floor, you can always just twist it out right here. I want you to focus on finding a little rotation of those hip flexors, getting some twists in the knees and ankles. Having some fun. Three, two, one. Awesome, 20 seconds of work. We're gonna let this timer phase out because I already, well wait, we need to add an extra Round to this time or two, six. All right, I'm gonna decrease our break time 
in this interval as well. So going from that 20 second break, we're just gonna have 15 seconds of break, 45 seconds of work. Get ready to do those goddess ab reaches and then right into round three, because that time is ready to go. All right, grab a quick sip of water if you need it. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. Starts in three, two, one. Oops, begin. So you're either sticking with these side to side reaches or you're coming down into this goddess squat and you're reaching behind me. I am not using the weights this time through. You can either have your hands low or reach up. Feel a little extra stretch when I work to really reach one hand down to the floor and then bring them back up to my head. Not trying to apply any pressure towards my head. Really working on opening these thighs as much as possible. Weight is in the heels. Awesome, five seconds left from right here. Can you come a little bit lower? Maybe you can touch closer to the floor. Wow. All right, now we've got those alternating side leg lunges, still into that front raise, but this time we're going to step out into our lunge and then step our feet back in together. So make that space and begin. Step out, still knee in line with your second toe. And then finding that front raise with your chest lifted, with those shoulders down and back. Your hips are being sent behind you. And you're finding the range of motion that works for you today. Find a pace that works for you too. Can you move a little bit faster with good form? Find that squeeze as you lift from your chest. Three, two, one. That move's done. All right, coming up next, we're coming back to the overhead press with the knee drive. So grab a weight that works for you. Remember, you can always lower the weight. If you find that pressing it overhead makes you arch your back, that weight's too heavy for you. Begin. So press overhead, find that drive. You can tap that toe down on the floor, or you can challenge your balance and just reach it in the direction of the floor. Make sure that you still have weight in your standing leg, heel. Oh my gosh, this is a lot harder. Going for beyond those 30 seconds. Five seconds left, finish strong with me right here. Three, two, one, awesome, shake it out, switch your weight to the opposite hand, same thing, other side. Ready, set yourself up, three, two, one, begin. So press, wide drive. And remember, every side of the body is not the same. I'm having some real tension in my current standing leg calf. So I don't really want to challenge myself to continue to balance there and feel it firing up and activating. I would rather take a moment to lower that foot down towards the floor, come back to my breath, and then find that ab crunch. That's what we're focusing on, ab crunch and this shoulder work right now. Got to use those abs to pull your arm up. So not bringing your toe and pressing it all to weight to the floor. Take a break. It's going to encourage you to use more of your abs to lift up as opposed to the pressing the toe off of the floor. We'll have one more round of that. Coming up next is our overhead press. Sorry, our squat to a single leg toe touch. Begin. So you're going to squat and then keep the weight in your heel as you touch down. Alternate squat down, single leg, toe touch. If you're having trouble, you can always tap that back toe, 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 oh my gosh, to the floor, 
but then make sure you're keeping the weight in the front heel and your glutes are still reaching for that imaginary chair behind you as you come into that single leg toe touch. So try your best not to press up through the balls of the feet. Two, one, great work. Our last move is going to either be twisting or we're gonna take it to an in and out this time through. Ready, three, two, one, begin. Getting into those calves. Just a little bit more here by staying up on the balls of the feet more than you might have if your feet were planted and you were twisting it out. You can always step out and in a little bit slower if you need to. Maybe even adding a little bit more of a squat in, especially if you're moving slow. If you're stepping out in one direction only, change the direction that you're stepping out here for the last half. Remember after this, you get your 15 second break. We're coming right into those goddess squats though. Last time through, last round, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Three, two, one, 15 seconds break. Ugh, grab that water if you need to. One more time through, then a longer round. Step those feet out wide if you're joining me for those goddess squats for our last interval. Begin. So squat down, reach, and reach. Remember, you're working to open those hips to bring, bring it forward. Weights in your heels. So if you find yourself bringing the weight to the balls of your feet, you might just need to open those legs a little bit wider. And if you're really struggling with that, go ahead and just come on back to this standing position, legs nice and wide, and just reaching down side to side. Oh. All right, coming up next is our alternating side lunges. Suggesting this time with just one weight as you come into that side lunge to begin a windmill, begin. And then step your feet together, switch hands, windmill, similar to that toe touch, the alternating toe touch that we did at the beginning. I'm using a lighter weight on this windmill to control and reach up. Still working to bring the weight into the heel and send the hips back. Getting that upper body challenged a little bit here. In round three, next round, big time upper body focus. Take a break. All right, we've got our overhead press into the knee drive. One more time through. I recommend begin starting with the opposite side you started with last time, or maybe the last two times. Remember, try not to press too much off of the floor. So you're really using your knee to drive up by challenging those abs, by finding that squeeze. Do you feel that pinch in the side as well? If you don't, can you bring that knee up a little bit higher and maybe a little bit more toward the back? Awesome, switch to the opposite side. Three, two, one, begin. So really work to use that exhale ooh, to find that extra lift, squeeze, to decrease the space between your lower rib and your hip. Head, like there's a string up towards the ceiling, still as long as possible. Three seconds left, two, one, Awesome, coming back into that squat into a single leg toe touch. Start. So squat down. You don't have to have any weights in your hand. Single leg toe touch. If you're really struggling, you can always just give yourself a single leg Romanian deadlift. Just working towards the idea of challenging your balance. But if you can bring the weight into the, oops, into the heels and find that single leg bend of your knees. Remember having your toe on the floor behind you can make it so much easier and get a little deeper to challenge the quad hamstring glute. All right, last move. We're going to go for a little bit of a dance move. So not just in and out 
We're going to just step and step behind as fast as you can. So like in and out skaters. Getting a little bit more movement in those hips. I'm a snapper, y'all. Tell me if you didn't think I would be a snapper. But yes, I'm a total snapper. Snap, snap, snap. Come on, finish strong here. You got it. All right, let's take two minutes to yourself. Just breathe it out. We got one more round of moves that we're gonna do. I'm gonna set my timer back to our original time. One minute of work, 20 seconds of rest. There's really only five moves in this next round. So it should be a little bit faster too. All right, so drink that water. Make sure you're staying hydrated. Pardon my air conditioning for popping on. I set it to 82 in here while we're teaching. It means we're doing some good work. finding a towel you might want a towel because things are probably gonna get a little bit sweaty down here in round three we got a lot of uh, actions in plank or similar to plank and I know for me especially after I've been doing some strength or cardio moves to get my heart rate up once I'm hanging out in that plank it's like sweat city so 30 more seconds to just shake it off to move around a little bit you're probably going to want lighter weight for this Round, the only move that you'll be doing is a row. Oh, do I want to split that up into two moves? Oh, I'm such a liar, y'all. I am going to turn it into a six. No, yeah. No, I'll turn it into a six round circuit next round. Okay. <laughs> All right, the first move that we're going to be doing with weights is going to be our tabletop row. So I just want you to keep that elbow as high as you can and just be squeezing. So you might want a slightly lighter weight for the tabletop row than you were using for that overhead press. I'm gonna challenge myself to these eights, but I'm gonna keep a five nearby as well. Do, 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 do. Dun, 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 dun. Awesome, that's the only weighted move that we have here uh, in round two. So let's come on down to the floor Let's go ahead and get started as quickly as, oops, that's the wrong timer. I didn't, I didn't mean to start that one. All right, we'll just bury it in the drawer for now. All right, so we're going to start with a tabletop row. We'll split up the first round to just be 30 seconds because I'm a nice lady. All right, so just 30 seconds of the first round, keeping that elbow as high as you can and then extending out behind you. Are y'all ready for this? We start in three, two, one, begin. So 30 seconds in, we're gonna switch this up. Keep those eyes down towards the floor, keep that elbow high. I already need a lighter weight and just row it out. I don't care if you do this with absolutely no weights. If you work to keep that elbow high and just extend the lower portion of your arm, you're going to work that tricep. Get ready and let's switch sides. So plant that hand down, squeeze your shoulder blade in, keep that elbow nice and high and just extend through the forearm. 20 seconds left right here. Next up, we're gonna do bear with some ins and outs of our arms. So going from a narrow stance into a wide stance. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're gonna do this for a minute. 
All right, knees are gonna come up off the floor. You're gonna go wide, wide, narrow, narrow. And if you need to, you can put your hands back down on the floor between each one. But challenge yourself, see if you can build. Can you get two rounds of bear without putting your knees on the floor? And begin, here we go. So knees gently lift, wider, wider, more narrow. Change which direction you're stepping out with those hands as well. Try to keep those knees as close to the floor as possible. If you have to, you can always walk those legs back. If bear is too much for you, hang out in a modified plank and just practice keeping those hips square to the floor and walking your hands out. If that's still too much, just hanging out right here in tabletop and practicing applying some pressure, keeping your shoulders away from your ears. But otherwise, tuck those toes under. We got 15 seconds of work left right here. The longest interval of bear you have for today. Three, two, one. Awesome. Next up, we're going to mix up a little bit of world's greatest stretch with a push-up. So you're going to give me a push-up, be it on your knees or on your toes. Then you're going to press up into plank, bring one leg forward, find that twist, send your leg back, knees can come down, push up, get ready, begin. So we start with the push up, press up into plank, one leg steps forward, find that big reach. Think of this as your active recovery move. Stretching out those glutes and those hips that we just worked a little bit in round one. Now if you need to, if this is too much for you, you can do this same thing on your knees. Giving yourself a push up on your knees and just stepping one foot forward and finding this twist. Modify however you need to. You can still get such great work in your chest and shoulders from pushing up in tabletop. Still find this awesome opening of your hip without having that back leg extended. Awesome. Take your break. Next up we've got an elevator plank. So one more plank coming down onto our forearms and then pressing up into straight arms. You can do it on your knees. You can do it on your toes. Can you try it on your toes? Begin. So you can either bring your arms down straight you can bring your arms towards the inside. I'm gonna come onto my knees. And then hands, palms come right back underneath of those shoulders. If you want, you can even practice keeping those arms straight, bringing those arms down, pressing those arms back up. We're halfway through. And this is another one you can always do from tabletop, just working towards finding the strength to press your body back up through that palm, to use that back squeeze to engage, to create those new connections so that hopefully in the future you can challenge yourself even a little bit more. Three, two, one. Awesome turnover on your back. Next up, we're going to go for a Russian twist, starting off with a Russian twist in this one. You can keep those feet down on the floor. You can challenge yourself to bring those legs into boat pose. Maybe you have one leg in boat pose. Begin. Find this twist. Rotate from the core, not just the shoulders. Keep using that breath. Keep that chest lifted so you're not rounding all the way down. If you find you're rounding down, plant those feet on the floor. Come back to really feeling that rotation from your core. I'm going to turn this one into a runner's crunch next time around. 
make it a little bit more challenging so that you're lifting up. Still similar to this Russian twist though. So keep this twist going for right here. Continue to warm up through those obliques. Keep that chest lifted, that back working and your belly pulled in tight. Three, two, one. Awesome, take a little break. A little more than a 20 second break between rounds one and two. I'm gonna change the timer down. So we do 45 seconds of work, <clears throat> excuse me, and just 15 seconds of rest. I'm gonna add in that second side. So we're gonna work a little bit longer in this row, moving forward through the second circuit. Drink some water. Let's get that liquid energy going. But remember, we're going to be face down, so don't drink too much. All right, bringing the time down. 45 seconds of work. I hope you're setting yourself up in tabletop, maybe even enjoying a little bit of child pose or some cat-cow before we row it out. I'm going to start with my opposite arm first. We start in three, two, one, begin. So right here in tabletop, either with or without a weight, keeping that upper arm braced by the side of your body and your elbow up towards the ceiling, just extending through that lower arm. Keep that elbow high, 20 seconds of work left to go. Ten seconds from right here. Keep that elbow lifted. Two, one. Awesome. Take a break. Shake it out. Oh. Set yourself up for success to do the opposite side. If you got that weight, bring it along. Hand palm right underneath your chest. Elbow high. Begin. Eyes stay down on the floor couple inches or feet, no, like inches, in front of your fingertips. Especially if you have no weight, that elbow is so high to the sky. Oh my gosh, 20 seconds left right here. This next time around in bear, I want you to do your in and out with your feet. So your hands stay on the floor. We're gonna walk those feet out and in. Oh, bring that weight down. So hands are gonna stay planted, just out, out, in, in. Ready? Begin. This one's really going to challenge those lower abs even more. Keep those knees close to the floor. And remember, you can always tap your knees back down. If you're having trouble staying up in bear, just work to tap one leg out to the side. Tap that toe out to the side. And can you even tap that toe out towards the side with your foot flexed, especially if those knees are still on the floor? We're more than halfway through. You've got 15 seconds of work left from right here. Final 10, try not to drop those knees. You are so worth this. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes, coming up next, world's greatest push-up again. World's greatest push-up. I like this one, I think it's fun. All right, you ready? Begin, so find that push-up. Step it forward, take your twist. If you need to on the twist, you can always keep that back knee down towards the floor or drop your back knee down towards the floor for some stability and then press back up into your lunge. You got 15 seconds left, so just find something that works. On our last round through, we're gonna challenge ourselves 
to change the pace at which we go down for our push-up to find three stops along the way. Yay! All right, next up, elevator plank once again. Down, down, up, up. Three, two, one, begin. Keep that core pulled in nice and tight. Keep that eye gaze gently forward so your chin is not tucked towards your chest. Don't create any extra wrinkles in your neck. You're more than halfway through. You're coming down to your last 10 seconds right now. So push yourself here at the end. Four, three, two, one. Turn over onto your back. Send those legs out straight. We're gonna get our runner's crunch in next. So working to sit yourself all the way up and tap your elbow to your knee and then carefully lower yourself down. Begin. If you need a modification on this one, you can keep your hands on the floor behind you, forearms down on the floor and work to gently press yourself up through your hand palm and just find that slight drive of the knee. Otherwise, legs are straight. Sitting yourself all the way up, carefully lowering all the way down. Feeling this. Five seconds of work left to go. Then just one more fast round through. Are you finding the twist? at the top? I hope so. All right. Turn back towards the front. We're coming back into our row. Tabletop row, 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Begin. So row it out nice and high. Elbow stays high. Hand palm right underneath of your shoulders. Keep that core pulled in tight. Halfway right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch it up. 10 seconds rest before we begin our tabletop row on the opposite side. Three, two, elbow high, begin. right now. On this next round of bear walks, you can either walk forward and backward on your mat or walk side to side. Your choice, maybe a little bit of both. Three, two, one. Move those weights out of your way so you have plenty of room. Working down to the last minute here of our workout today. Lift those toes up, either stepping forward and stepping back or stepping side to side. You started, we've got 20 seconds left from right here. Keep those knees close to the floor. Final 10 seconds. Careful, I know my mat's pretty sweaty. I imagine yours is two, three, two, one. Last round of the world's greatest push-up. Three, two, one, begin. So push up, find that lunge and twist. Slow down that push up. Three, two, one, and then up. Find that lunge and twist. Three stops on the way down. So one, two, three, you're down and up immediately. Find that twist. One more time, let's get it in. Three, Two, one, you're down, press up, last twist. 
Great, next up we got that elevator plank. It starts sooner than you expect. Three, two, begin. 30 seconds of work. Challenge yourself right here at the end. Maybe you're just hanging out in a plank. Maybe you have to take the elevator portion out. Final 10 seconds. You gotta challenge yourself to see the change. So don't just do the easiest thing because you want to. Awesome, turn over. We're gonna fight that runner's crunch. We're gonna add in a straight leg lift as well. So alternating through, you're going to crunch, same leg, reach and lift, start. So crunch, and then a nice single leg jackknife. You can press into the forearm of the opposite arm that's down on the floor. Stick with me all 15 seconds left. Oh my gosh. Finish here right now. Yay, draw those knees into your chest. Press your lower back down on the floor. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Give yourself a couple nice circles with those legs. Start to slow your breath down. Change the direction of those circles. Great. Go ahead and roll over onto your belly. Come into tabletop. Give yourself a couple cat cows right here. Really feel those shoulders separate. Pull your chest through. Feel that stretch on your abs. Two more times in each direction. Emphasize pressing your hands into the floor. Shoulders separate. Shoulder blades come together. Chest comes forward. Big belly stretch. Last one. Awesome, go ahead, tuck your toes under, set your heels towards the floor, pedal through those heels, find that stretch of your calves. Go ahead, walk your feet forward, take a moment in the dangle, feel the stretch of your hamstrings, shake your head yes, shake your head no, experiment with drawing those shoulders away from your ears and then relaxing away from your ears and then relaxing shift the weight to your heels and slowly roll yourself up wow so much sweating today go ahead open those arms nice and wide and just cross one arm over the other let's get a nice stretch through those shoulders here keep that stretch to one side make sure you're not pressing directly on the elbow, either above or below the elbow, but draw that shoulder forward. You can even feel that big stretch down through the lats. Open nice and wide. I'm gonna keep you for an extra minute just so we can make sure we get these good stretches of our upper bodies, our chest, our upper backs. Bring those hands palms, oh my gosh, together. Press those hands palms forward and depress your shoulders away from your ears. Draw that belly in. All right, now you can find that rounding in that upper back. Release your hands, interlace them behind your back to press your shoulders away. Roll them down and back. Start to get that big opening on your chest. Depending on how challenging, how much you challenge yourself in some of those planks and those push-ups, opening that chest again can feel really hard. Inhale those arms all the way up overhead. Let's get a nice quick stretch of those triceps. So pressing down on one elbow as you gently walk your fingers down your spine. Keep your chin away from your chest here. And switch, reach up to the sky. Opposite arm comes down. Gentle press of your elbow. Feel that stretch on your tricep. Keep your chin lifted away from your chest. Great work. Press 
all the way up onto your toes, reach those fingers up towards the ceiling, relax your arms down by your side. Give yourself a big hug, twist through the core one more time, find one last stretch through your back, bring a smile to your face. I hope you're so proud of yourself for completing today's workout. I'm so proud of you for showing up and doing your absolute best, whatever it was, however you feel, I know it was enough. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out. Have a wonderful rest of your day, y'all. Hope you enjoyed getting that sweat on.